Hello friends, this is Joe Samo from San Diego, California. I have a lot of students who have problems with uh, exponentials and uh, I saw this problem and I thought it'd be a good one. This comes up typically on the GMAT, the GRE, Algebra, Geometry exams. Give this one a shot on your own and then we'll do it together. I hope you tried this one on your own. Now let's do it together. So we have nine to the ninth power plus nine to the ninth power plus nine to the ninth power. We wanna to try to figure out what that equals. So all of that is just like nine to the ninth power cubed. Ah, just kidding. That's not what that's like. Uh, make sure you do not make that mistake. I did it to try to throw you off guard. But actually what that, that's what they're trying to get you to think. But really what that is like is like three times nine to the ninth power. And let me uh, explain why. Uh, if you look at this equation here, let me just show you the technical reason. If you factor out nine to the ninth, then you have one plus one plus one. Okay, so that's just like nine to the ninth times three, right? That's the you know technical reason. So anyway, we go back up here and we go to this nine. Uh, oh man, that's a funky looking nine right there. Let me clean up that nine. And then, so we have nine, three times nine to the ninth power. And if you think about this nine, let's see if we could simplify that. Nine is just like three squared. So really what we have is we have three times three squared to the ninth power, okay? Uh, and then whenever we have, let's figure out what's in that quotation. Whenever we have, we have three squared to the nine, what we do to that two and nine, we actually multiply it. We don't add it, we don't subtract it, we don't divide it, we multiply it. So three squared to the ninth power is just like three to the 18. So now what we have is we have three times all of this goes in there, which would be three to the 18. So now we have three times three to the 18. When we have that, three times three to the 18 is like three to the one power times three to the 18. And at that point, when we have three to the one power times three to the 18, we actually add the one plus 18. Um, you know, just show you real quick. So if we have like x times x cubed, that would be like x to the four. If we have x squared times x to the fifth, we would add that, we would be x to the seventh. All right, I'm just trying to show you something. So we go back up here. Uh, we have 3 to the 1 times 3 to the 18, so we add 1 plus 18, that's 3 to the 19. And that is the answer. So, uh, 9 to the 9 plus 9 to the 9 plus 9 to the 9 is equivalent to 3 to the 19. Alright, if you want to keep, uh, keep progressing in exponents, I'm going to throw you some links right now that you could watch uh, so that you can keep at it. Uh, watch this video here and keep practicing these exponents. I promise you will get it if you keep practicing this. Good stuff, uh, hope to see you soon.